Okay, I want to document some behavior on my Xtool D1 Pro, something that I just discovered. Currently, I have the 20 watt module connected, and I want to demonstrate that I have the laser dot. The laser dot is enabled. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the machine. And I'm going to swap the module. God, I hate doing this because the connector is just not that robust, it doesn't seem to me. But we'll see. And this is going to take a second. It always does. So forgive me for that. Another problem you have here is this connector butts right up against the fan. So what I do is I just kind of gently pry up on the connector and that allows it to get over the ridge of that fan. Also, this braid has a tendency to, to scratch and grab and fray. So now let's put the IR module in. And there's a lot more space in the IR module than there is in the uh, 20 watt. So let's hang it. And I just have it up in the air just to demonstrate. Now I'm going to open uh, Xtool Creative Space and let's see what happens when it opens up. It's coming. And the machine is off. Let me turn it on. And I want you to know oh, the red dot just showed up. Okay, that's good. Sometimes, and I don't know why, but sometimes the red dot doesn't come on and I have to open Xtool Creative Space uh, before that it'll come on. It didn't do it until it was connected. So I'm going to turn the machine off again. And I'm going to remove the IR module. Which doesn't want to come out. It is a lot easier to remove this than it is the the 20 watt. But I'm not having any luck right at the moment. There we go. And again, this braid really makes this fray badly. Now we'll hook this 20 watt module back up. There we go. Let's hang it. There we go. All right, now watch what happens when I turn the machine on. Crosshairs, no more laser dot. So every time you hook this up, disconnect it, and then hook the IR module up, and then go back to the 20 watt, it always reverts to the crosshairs. And that's just something I want everyone to be aware of.